What is the, why are they picking on Christianity? But I've said, I've been saying for a long time though, they're coming for, but way before I even became a Christian. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I said they are coming for the Bible. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Welcome back to our channel. So the Olympics um, decided to be super woke and yeah. <laughs> they had something resembling the Last Supper and it's I think now that things have been taken you said it's been taken down the I think on YouTube they took, oh, I guess YouTube. They took it down or some uh, they took it off their YouTube channel channel yeah because it just got bombarded with um and then people started doing videos and taking clips and then the <laughs> clips started going away and then they they um i think they started to <clears throat> copyright people oh. for using it because they wanted to, to slow down yeah. the comments it's like come on and now. then they just took it down they just oh. they were just going to take it down but also um some uh sponsors backed out this is inappropriate well, yes, it is. Um, there was a news clipping I saw, or uh, I don't know if she's a YouTuber or not. She was talking about it and I wanted to watch it real quick. What was this supposed to represent? How was this supposed to be inclusive? The whole point of the Olympics is bringing together the entire globe in unity. It's about, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your creed, it doesn't matter your color. Frankly, it doesn't even matter what age you are, as long as you can get the qualifying time and go and do a good job. But, but then this whole opening ceremony, to me, it didn't represent any country in the world. It represented a teeny tiny minority of people in a handful of countries in the Western Hemisphere of the northern part of the globe, frankly, about 5% of the population in the sort of elite Anglophone countries and a bit of France. That's it. There's so many good news stories. And then what do you get? Some egotistical, narcissistic saddo who frankly needs his mental health checked, projecting to the world whatever his internal battle is, his kind of wonky ideology of his faux utopia, mocking Christianity, shoving his wokeism down our throats. You know, it's all about gender fluid fluidity. It's all about, you know, menage a trois. It's, I'm just, what are you doing? Who on earth wanted to see that? Is that what the spirit of Olympics is all about? Hypersexualization? I don't think so. I don't think that's what most countries participating in the Olympics think. I don't even think that's what most people in France think. Poor old French people. Their country looks like a basket case on the international stage. That's supposed to the, you know, platform your country has come here, the city of love, isn't it wonderful? That's not what most people's idea of love is unless you're into sort of blue movies. I mean, what on earth was that supposed to be about? If I was coming from some other country, planning my next holiday to France, I'd be worried about what I might catch in the water now. So I think she said 5% of the population is actually less than 5%. It's like 1% yeah. of the population. The, um, and then, I, then a lot of uh, people in the LGBT community were saying that it was um, supposed to be talking about Greek mythology and they're like, mm -hmm. but no, it's already been confirmed. They were trying to do the, the Last Supper. What is the, wh why are they picking on Christianity? But I've said, I've been saying for a long time though, they're coming for, but way before I even became a Christian. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I said they are coming for the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because Marxists have, Mar, Mar, Karl Marx did not like God. Mm -hmm. He didn't, he thought that God was the reason why people didn't stand up for themselves. Right. That they allowed themselves to be oppressed by the Bible. And so he really thought the state was, was, was God. Like that you, you, like Bernie Sanders even mm -hmm. said something like that when he was running. He said that the reason he became a politician was because he realized that politics was the only way that you can keep, that you can make um, policies for people who don't have a lot to sort of give them a lot, you know what I mean? Or to um, make yeah. policies in favor of people who, yeah. who aren't the elite. And he right. was just like, and he said he recognized that very in his in his young life. And so kind of Karl Marx's idea, when we keep seeing socialism being mm -hmm. pushed and we start <clears> seeing <throat> policies that, you know, our freedom of speech is, is being um, silenced and, you know, they're talking about the Second Amendment, trying to mm -hmm. tear up the, the um, Constitution. I was like, they're coming for the Bible because the Bible is really the only thing that people will, especially Christians, and Christianity is the biggest religion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's got the most members. That they have to sort of kill that mm -hmm. or else you can't usher in LGBTQ. And the Bible speaks against that. So, mm -hmm. 
the only way you can really get those people to, to completely kill mm -hmm. it is to really get rid of the Bible. And so when they have these little forums like the, the Olympics, the reason why they do that, I think they do it to test the waters. Mm -hmm. They want to see if they can do something like this on a world stage and people won't say anything. Well, we've already gone to uh, far right now. So then we have the, the woke movies, you have the woke commercials. Um, you know what I mean? Like everything is just kind of like they, just the mainstream media is woke mm -hmm. now. Everything is just kind of like um, catering to a very small group of people. We're basing all of, we're, we're trying to change policies and, and, and laws based on a small group of individuals. When we all know that, you know, um, the majority rules in general. Mm -hmm. So catering and doing all these things for this small group, it's, just a, it does, it's off balance, it doesn't make mm -hmm. any sense. Okay. Remember when the San Francisco Men's Choir yeah. Um, made that song about about take, about, yeah. about I don't I don't think it said corrupt your children, but they were trying to the song whole the whole chorus was <coughs> we'll um, convert your children. Yeah. You think we're sinful? You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. You can keep them from disco, warn about San Francisco, make him wear pleated pants, we don't care. We'll convert your children. We'll make them tolerant and fair. Oh, We're coming for them. Oh, We're coming for your children. And I thought to myself, what? And then they got death threats. And then I thought, they said it was satire. But, but I'm like, what would possess you? Yeah. <clears throat> to, to then try to say something mm -hmm. and then get you, you're messing with people's kids now. Mm -hmm. And then they, they got death threats. They took the video down. Yeah. They got afraid. Well, I like that, but that's it's good to see like Christian people finally just kind of like standing up for it because a lot of times when these things happen, it gets it gets kind of like um, their the their voices get dulled because they don't want to be seen as the radical, um, you know, these evangelical radical crazy Jesus loving hugging. You know, they want they used to not want to be seen as that, but I'm like, no. But if that's your religion, you're supposed to be seen as that. You're supposed to speak up in situations like this, and the fact that they have, and now it's had a financial. See, the only thing way things get done, and get a stop comes to things when you put a financial when it hurts them in their pockets, and that's what's happened. Is I mean, that, they took it down so, because yeah. the sponsors, some sponsors, sponsors like back yeah, off. you know what I mean. And they and, should, they should, especially like she was saying, like the Western Hemisphere is, you know, basically it is all, all, all this woke stuff is going on over here and, you know, in the UK and stuff like that. It's not really happening. The rest of the world is mostly very religious. Yeah, Christianity is growing yeah. in all countries except for the West. Right. The West is mm -hmm. starting to lose um, Christians. Yeah. The other parts of the world are all starting to gain, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, gain, gain um, mm -hmm. religion. And um, we're, I guess they're just trying to ruin the West. Right. You know what I mean? And they're and they're using black people, women, and gay people to do it. They right. take these groups, and I don't know why, again, I don't know why women are considered minorities when we're 52% of the right, population. Right. We're actually majority, so I don't really get that. And white people are more of a minority if you look at the world. They're mm -hmm. only the majority in the West. Right. The, minor, the majority of the world are people of color. Right. But it's like they're trying to make white people the responsibility of the entire world. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it look like gayness is 50% of the world. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it look like black people aren't 13% of America, but 50% of America. You know what I mean? Even in UK, it's even less black people. Mm -hmm. It's like 4% and they're, they're doing it there. Understand? But then when it comes to Jesus, it's like <laughs> fair game. Everybody could just start making fun of him, making mm -hmm. him some kind of hippie, Yeah. making him to some kind of uh, If you're a Hindu or a Buddhist a transgender, or, 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 you know, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, all these other religions, n no, nothing mums the word. But when it comes to Christianity, it's like an attack on that. Remember when Biden <laughs> did the, did the LGBTQ? Q recognition day or what was it? 
Remember he did it on Easter? Oh, yeah. What's that thing he did? The year before. Transvisibility Day or something. Yeah, Transvisibility Day. Do you know that through the year we celebrate gay people 145 other days of the year? We only celebrate Jesus once. Once. That's it. But we celebrate gay people and gay issues yeah. a over a hundred, almost 150 days of the 365 days of the year. I just, I just mm. don't, I don't, I don't understand why it's always Jesus though. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the lady said in the video. Why do you even bring up religion? It's also interesting that they're trying. To, but what is the Olympics and and people being um, athletes, these these world class athletes? What does sexuality have to do with that at all? Because some of these people are on there being very. You know, just being very sexualized the way they're looking. So, what does that have? To, what does it have to do with the Olympics at all? And I always, I always wonder: Do gay people who aren't LGBTQ like nuts? Mm -hmm. Do they ever get sick of always being portrayed over sexual? There's, Everything yeah. about gay people, it just seems like it is always about you know Sex, sexuality yeah. all day long. It's like I know gay people. Yeah. And I just don't, I, I just don't understand why yeah. every last thing, like even that thing, mm -hmm. they found some way to make it sexual. And I, I feel like this here was to me weird. Yeah. It was just weird. It's not weird because, you know, I'm not in the know or because, you know, whatever, I'm not cultured enough to understand. It's not about, that's not why it's weird. It's weird because you're in drag emulating something religious. That's, that is that is contradictive to religion as a whole, which means you're being disrespectful on purpose. The Olympics was the last family show. Yeah. You know, like Danielle and I, like I don't even watch regular TV. I watch DVDs because mm -hmm. I can't stand programming today. I like old TV shows. Yeah. Um, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, even 50s. Um, but the Olympics for 2024 was really the last family Sit down. Sit down. Oh, yeah, it was. There was. There's not supposed to be any sex in it. There really is no religion in it at all. Mm -hmm. At all. You know what I mean? It's just one of those, everyone sitting across the world, mm -hmm. you know, um, cheering on their, like she's a their united, country kind of. in yeah. a united way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And your favorite athletes, they, they only get to do it every, um, mm -hmm. the Summer Olympics, every four years. These people train. What are you seeing? The same boat say, I, I train four years to do to do a job for 15 seconds. Right. And it says, so these people spend their entire Terrible. lives yeah. doing this. And they've been doing it since they were children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so it's, and, and they, they all do it from every country. This is just what they do. China, mm -hmm. Russia, that is just what they do. And it was really the last Hold show. Some I mean, kind it used to be, yeah. I used to think the last show would be the Super Bowl. Yeah. But now that's turned into, Woke too. you know, what Snoop Dogg doing the Crip Walk. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, it just, <laughs> Beyonce being a uh, Janet Jackson showing her boob. Yeah. It's like, and it never went back. It's like Janet Jackson showed her boob and that was it. Everybody thought, oh, they were okay with that. Was, and now, now we've all graduated to, um, you know, trans.